Today, July 24, 2024, the northern Philippines faces relentless rains as Typhoon Gaimi, locally known as Karina, brings severe flooding throughout Metro Manila. The streets have turned into rivers, prompting evacuations in low-lying areas. In Marikina, the river's water level has reached a critical 18 meters, forcing residents to evacuate. Earlier today, Pagasa issued a red warning for torrential rains, attributing the severe weather to the southwest monsoon, or Habagat, which has been further intensified by Typhoon Karina. Typhoon Karina, with sustained winds of 150 km per hour and gusts up to 185 km per hour, has brought relentless rain and strong winds. Emergency services are in full swing, evacuating residents from the most affected areas. The flooding has disrupted daily life, with schools and offices closed and public transportation at a standstill. Cars have been submerged and some are even floating away, adding to the chaos in the flooded streets. Many homes have been flooded through the roof, forcing residents to seek higher ground and leaving behind extensive damage. But amidst the chaos, the Filipino spirit of Bayanihan shines through as neighbors help each other navigate these challenging times. Despite the difficult circumstances, there are even scenes of people swimming in the streets showing their resilience and ability to find moments of joy. The southwest monsoon is a seasonal wind pattern that brings heavy rainfall to the Philippines. Typhoon Karina's presence has significantly intensified the Habagat, leading to these extreme weather conditions. Evacuation centers are filling up, providing shelter and necessities to those displaced by the flooding. Local government units are working tirelessly to ensure the safety and well-being of the affected residents. Volunteers and NGOs are stepping up, distributing food, water, and medical supplies to those in need. The sense of community and resilience is evident everywhere you look. Businesses and markets are also feeling the impact with many establishments submerged. The economic toll of the typhoon and the intensified monsoon will be significant. Even places of worship haven't been spared, with churches flooded and services disrupted. Remarkably, rescue efforts have extended to pets as well, ensuring no one is left behind. In some areas, the flooding has even brought unexpected dangers, like a snake spotted loose in the floodwaters, adding to the challenges faced by residents. As the rains continue, the focus remains on immediate relief and long-term recovery. Meanwhile, the powerful typhoon is now bearing down on Taiwan, killing at least two people and injuring hundreds. Authorities there have closed financial markets, schools and offices as they brace for the storm's impact. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to monitor the situation. Remember to stay safe and follow the advisories from local authorities. For more information and updates on Typhoon Karina and other weather-related events, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And let us know in the comments how your community is coping with the flood. We'd love to hear your stories and share your resilience.